Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about this new gimbal. It's the Insta360 Flow Pro, which is basically the same gimbal that they released in 2023, but the new version has been upgraded with two big features, but that also comes with a big problem for some potential users. So before I continue, I just want to say that Insta360 did not send me this gimbal and this video is not a sponsor. Inside the box, you will find this magnetic phone clamp, a charging cable, a silicone cover for the handle, and finally, this protective pouch. This gimbal has a weight of almost 400 grams and supports smartphones up to 300 grams. The battery inside will last for about 10 hours and it will take almost two hours to fully charge it. A nice feature that this gimbal has is that you can use it as a power bank to charge your smartphone and this works even if the gimbal is off. The Insta360 Flow Pro has a compact design so it's easy to carry around and when you need to use it, you just have to twist this arm upward. The magnetic clamp goes in the middle of your smartphone and then you just have to place it like this on the gimbal. I think that this gimbal is very versatile because it has a built-in extension rod and at the bottom it has a retractable grip which can also be extended to be used as a tripod. The extension rod will give you an extra 21.5 centimeters of extra height which is useful for vlogging videos or when you want to show more background when you frame yourself for a picture or a video. I am not a fan of the small handle, even though we have this retractable grip. It's not quite ergonomic as other gimbals, but I feel that this should not be a deal breaker for most of you. On the other hand, the tripod is a lifesaver. It avoids the need to carry more equipment, but the legs are a bit flimsy and they are not going to be too stable. And there used to be a warning from Insta360 not to place the tripod in the sand because they know that it can jam the retractable system. So just be careful about that. Anyway, there is a quarter inch thread hole at the bottom of the gimbal, so you can use a regular tripod if you want to, with the advantage of making the gimbal more stable. Just in general, this is a device that has a beautiful design, but we all know that this is not what matters the most. So if we take a look at the stabilization that you will get with the Insta360 Flow Pro, it seems that this 3-axis gimbal is doing a fantastic job. You need to know that there is a limited range of movement if you want to tilt the smartphone up or down. But unlike other compact gimbals, the Flow Pro now has 360 degrees infinite panning. And this might not sound like a big deal, but just imagine using it with the tracking that this has to offer. So let's talk about that, because I believe that the new tracking system is the biggest feature that the new Insta360 Flow has. Using an iPhone, you just have to get the top close to this NFC tag that is on the pan motor. The iPhone is going to detect and pair with a gimbal in just a few seconds so you don't need to open the Bluetooth settings or the Insta360 app for that matter. The iPhone will remember the connection, so you only need to do this once. But the best part of all of this is that you can activate the tracking with any app that is using the front or the back camera by just pulling the trigger. There is no need to open the Insta360 app unless you want to use it, and the tracking does a very good job trying to follow the subject even if there are obstacles in the way. No other gimbal has this specific feature, but you need to know a few things about it. It cannot track objects or animals, and there is a major problem with this. It is only compatible with iPhones, so Android devices are getting the big L. But if you have one, it doesn't mean that the Flow Pro is useless. You can still use the normal tracking mode that you can activate inside the Insta360 app. You get the same amazing tracking results, but the main difference is that you won't be able to use it with other apps. And if that's what you need, you might want to take a look at gimbals that actually have an independent tracking sensor. Something new on the Flow Pro is that on the pen motor, there is a green light which indicates that the tracking is active, so it's easier to know if it's on or not. Insta360 chose to leave everything else just the same as the old version. 
the control panel still doesn't have a display, just a few light indicators for the gimbal modes and battery level. The joystick is not omnidirectional, so it will only move up, down, left or right. And to change the gimbal modes, there is no dedicated button to do so. So you either have to double tap the right or the left side of the panel, and because this is touch sensitive, there is a difference between tapping and actually pressing it. The other option is to make a semicircle movement at the top, but it gets annoying because the joystick gets in the way most of the time. Is it really that hard to get an M button just like other gimbals do? This over here is a ring that lets you zoom in or out. I like this position, it's easy to access and also easy to use if you're left-handed. And inside the Insta360 app, you can change it so instead of zooming, you can use it to focus manually. Besides the basic gimbal modes which are follow mode, pan follow, FPV, and lock mode, this gimbal can be used in sport mode and this will make the gimbal react faster to your movements when you need to capture fast moving subjects. You can also do low angle shots by flipping the gimbal upside down and inception mode will make the camera spin clockwise or counterclockwise. But bear in mind that it has a limited rotation and at some point, the camera will see the arm of the gimbal. The interface on the Insta360 app is very clean and snappy. You can customize different settings, you can activate gesture controls and other cool features like a histogram. The app will let you record regular videos, slow motion, time lapses and hyperlapses. And for those users who want to use this for vlogging, I think that you're going to like that you can flip to the front or back camera when you are recording. If you have an Android device, you will not get the option to record videos at 60 frames per second. There are no manual settings either, but there is an option where you can change the white balance. You also don't get slow motion and the selfie camera doesn't support 4K, so it's only 1080p at 24 or 30 frames per second. Insta360 Flow Pro I have to admit that I am impressed with the iPhone tracking feature. It's great for solo content creators who need to use different apps besides the one from Insta360. But this doesn't mean that the Flow Pro is an iPhone exclusive gimbal. With an Android device, you can still use the tracking function inside your app, which is really good compared with other ones in the market. To be honest, I'm not here to say that this is the best gimbal of the year, but it's a solid device with features that some of us will find useful. The magnetic clamp is great and I like that the gimbal has a low weight, it's compact, is more discreet than others that I've used and it's just a perfect companion for traveling. But Insta360 should know that there is a lot of room for improvement and this is just my opinion, but I think that this is a bit overpriced. The link to this gimbal is going to be down below. If you use it to buy it, it will support the channel. Don't forget to give this honest video a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.